Uh, let's turn to number four. Sorry, number 562. 562. Are we sitting by parts? And you're welcome to sing the parts, not 562. 578. 578. 578. I'm just going to teach melody. We don't have time to learn parts on these. But we will sing several stanzas of all these, including the ones... I'm not going to sit there. Oh, including the ones that we already sang and a few others that we didn't sing and a few others that you already know. So let's start with number 578. I will start singing. Y'all can join me when you get your act together. Na, na, na. So I'll line it out and then you can sing along with the piano. This little babe, so few days old. This little babe, so few days old. Is come to, sorry, is come to rifle Satan's fold. Is come to rifle Satan's fold. All hell doth at his presence quake. All hell doth at his presence quake. Though he himself for cold doth shake. Though he himself for cold doth shake. For in this weak unarmed wise, for in this weak unarmed wise, the gates of hell he will surprise. The gates of hell he will surprise. Thank you. This is one of the most aggressive. I'm just going to comment on the ones that I wanted to sing earlier and didn't have time to. I'm just going to read the comments that I had for those, even though there's another six or seven pages of stuff that I'm not going to get to at all. This is one of the most aggressive Christmas songs that I know with some rather startling images and phrases, picturing a newborn baby as the leader of an army. It could almost have been in the Christ's reign section because we really are the upside down kingdom, aren't we? The weakest are the strongest and the babe leads the army. Bear in mind, for in this weak, unarmed wise, just means way or form. He doesn't have arms. He doesn't have weapons. He's weak. And in this way, the gates of hell, he will surprise. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. A baby? Let's sing the whole thing straight through. Can you give us the last line, please? <laughs> Himself for cold or shake, for in this week an army wise, the gates of hell he will surprise. Amen. Amen. Let's turn to 601. This is another one that. It... Oh, no, no, it's not the one. Oh, goodness me. I forgot about this one. Yeah, let's sing this in Gabriel's message. This is a great one. Um. Gabriel's message does away. Sing it. Gabriel's message does away. Satan's curse and Satan's sway. Satan's curse and Satan's sway. Out of darkness brings our day. Out of darkness brings our day. So behold, all the gates of heaven unfold. So behold, all the gates of heaven unfold. Sing the whole thing. Gabriel's message does away Satan's curse and Satan's way Out of darkness brings our day So behold, all the gates of heaven unfold Amen. Turn to 606. This is a sort of scaly tune that untrained singers love to sing. 
Uh, and this is also one example of the Comtus not conforming to evangelical music norm. It's very unusual for a hymn to have such a long melisma. Look at how long we get to sing the la next to the last syllable. <laughs> Most hymnals, uh, outside of Angels We Have Heard On High, um, is the only other one that I know that gets, that gets away with a melisma of more than three notes. Um, most boring, ordinary hymnals repeat the lyrics of the last line. So we would say, the Lord of every nation, the Lord of every nation. What fun is that? Listen to this. Isn't this fun? The Lord of every nation. Part of the point of a melisma like that is to throw the emotion into the words. That's actually what it's uh, represented for a thousand years. Um, and... Why not have it? I mean, what's the point of singing an epiphany song if it's not fun? I mean, really. Let's sing this. Um, Un, yeah. Unto us a boy is born. Sing it. Unto us a boy is born. The king of all creation. The king of all creation. Came he to a world forlorn. Came he to a world forlorn. The Lord of every nation. Wasn't that fun? Let's do it again. One, two, three. Unto us a boy is born, the king of all creation. Came he to the world for the Lord of every nation. That's also the only hymn that I know of uh, in the hymnal. There's a couple of uh, carols that, that deal with the, uh, the, what do they call it? The murder of the innocents. Um, what was the next one? Oh, I do. I shouldn't ask. 642. You have it? I'll line it out just like before. Alleluia, sing to Jesus. Alleluia, sing to Jesus. Here's the scepter, here's the throne. Here's the scepter, here's the throne. Alleluia, here's the triumph. Alleluia, here's the triumph. Here's the victory alone. Is the victory alone? Mark the songs of peaceful Zion. Mark the songs of peaceful Zion. Thunder like a mighty flood. Thunder like a mighty flood. Jesus, out of every nation. Jesus, out of every nation. Hath redeemed us by his blood. Has redeemed us by his blood. Notice how this, I have to keep pointing this out because it's so amazing. The beginning of the third line is the lowest part of the song. It sits low and it, look at the words that we get to sing for it. The songs of peaceful Zion, the cloud, the intercessor, the friend of the veil, peaceful Zion once again. And then the second half of that same line goes really high and look at the words that we get to sing with that. Thunder, mighty flood, 40 days were over. Plead for me, robed of. Tell you what. Have you heard the Mark Twain quote about picking the right word? Uh, the difference between the, the right word and the almost right word is the difference between a lightning bolt and a lightning bug. Have you heard that? The difference between, if you're, if you're well, I'll talk about this more tomorrow morning, but when you're looking for the right word when you're writing, this word is sort of right, and that's kind of right. When you get the right word, you know it's right. It's like a strike, stroke of lightning, and it's the same thing for finding the right tune. When you get the right tune for the right words, you know it. It just comes into focus. Let's sing this one. Breaking. Mm. Two, three. Alleluia, sing to Jesus. Here's the scepter, here's the throne. Alleluia, here's the triumph. Is the victory alone? Are the songs of peaceful Zion? Thunder like a mighty flood. Jesus, 
Jesus of every nation hath redeemed us by his blood. Amen. Thank you. Oh, 6.52. This, uh, like number 448 and a few others, owned me the first time I heard it. The melismas, the, the, the slurs in here are so delightful, so winsome, so yearning, so satisfying. I can't believe this tune has not loved the world over. And yeah, maybe people just need to hear it. So let's sing it. O thou who camest from above, O thou who camest from above, far sealers go to import, far sealers go to import, kindle a flame of sin. You guys sound great. Man, can I hire you? Wow. <laughs> Let's sing that whole thing through. That is such a lovely tune. You guys sound gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Oh, thou who camest from above, the far celestial to impart in the music. Uh, the only thing I'd say about that is if you put a slight pause at the end of the second line where um, the far sea last you to impart, just enough to take a breath, part, kindle, it's not going to break up the flow of the music and it'll be more comfortable to sing if you can take a little break in there. I am always glad when I can choose a common text tune pair, which this is, this tune, uh, well, obviously the Composer was the son of the author, um, Charles Wesley's son, Samuel. Um, uh, I can't always do that because some editors have looser criteria for what words they put with what music. But where I can, I really want to encourage long-standing text tune matches like this. Oh, yeah, 682. Here we have an unusual pair, 682, 683. This is one poem. As you can see, Anna Barbold, I actually don't know how to pronounce her name, name forgive me, um, but you can see the same author um, of all nine stanzas. Um, and it has such a sharp shift in mood after stanza five that the Mennonite hymnal 1969 gave it two different tunes, uh, which we often do with the Psalms. It's not very common to do that with hymns. Um, the first tune and the first song actually could stand alone as a Thanksgiving song, either as a seasonal Thanksgiving song or as a uh, as the Mennonites often do as a prayer before meals. So you'll you'll go to Mennonite home and they'll sing the first stanza of this um, as a prayer before their before their meals. But the second part, uh, 683, which draws from Habakkuk's description of God's disasters, gets a more thoughtful tune. Uh, and the climax, the very last stanza. Uh, which you don't get, if, of course, if you only sing the first half, is when every blessing has flown, we will love thee for thyself alone. That's the, 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 the climax, not the climax, the, the point, the, the, the goal of, the, of the, whole, the whole entire poem. After all the praise and after all the disaster, when every blessing is flown, when all the disasters are gone, we love thee for thyself alone. Um, let's sing them both. Mm -hmm. Praise to God, immortal praise. Sing it. Praise to God, immortal praise. For the love that crowns our days, 
For the love that crowns our days, bounteous source of every joy, bounteous source of every joy. Let thy praise our tongues employ, let thy praise our tongues employ. And then a little bit slower, 683. Lord should rising whirlwinds tear. Lord should rising whirlwinds tear. From its stem the ripening ear. From its stem the ripening ear. Should the fig trees blast at shoots. Should the fig trees blast at shoot. Drop the green untimely fruit. Drop a green untimely fruit. And as you can see, the, the second uh, song here, uh, um, stanza six through nine, um, are one long sentence. They each end, as you can see, with a colon. So you really do need to sing all four of them. We don't have time to. So let's sing stanzas one, five, six, and nine, straight through. One, five, six, and nine. Da da da. Praise to God, immortal praise, for the love that crowns our days. Bounteous source of every joy, let thy praise our tongues imply. These great gods to thee we owe, source clouds all our blessings flow. going to do 699 the day thou gave us but i think i'm going to save that for the very end it's a good evening song to end with so let's go to the requests back to number seven number seven psalm four dinner wide since it was requested i will take the liberty of singing more than just one stanza in fact let's sing them all and i think we can sing them all three straight through without lining out because it sounds like we've got some good seven, sight singers seven. here, as well as some people with really good memories. It's been six hours since we sang it. No, no, no. Oh, oh you don't have the song that you had earlier, the folder of this song. Never mind. You're you're doing fine. You're doing great. Are we an E minor? Can, uh, be like so. Are you ready? God has set apart for glory everyone who does his word. When I call aloud before him, know that all my cries are heard. Still your heart upon me 
sing that very last line softer or quieter than the rest of it why not there's no reason why not let's do number 33 yes this is a rip roaring song and i will i don't know should i line this out one more time it's so much fun to line it out if we get to line it out we get to sing it four times protect me from the wicked ones oppressing night and day sing it Protect me from the wicked ones oppressing night and day. Sing like the same. They dog my steps and lurk about like lions seeking prey. They dog my steps and lurk about like lions seeking prey. Arise, O Lord, and disappoint these deadly enemies. Arise, O Lord, and disappoint these deadly enemies. Unsheathe your sword and conquer till they fall upon their knees. Unsheathe your sword and conquer till they fall upon their knees. I just noticed a typo. There's no hyphen in the word unsheathe. Anybody picks out any typos, yeah, yeah. please let me know, because we're going to go for other yeah, yeah. printing, and I'd like to correct them all. Stand to two. Mm -hmm. They close their hearts to pity, and their mouths are filled with pride. Our footsteps they surrounded, and they brush us with their eyes. Oh, save us, Lord, from wicked men who seek their honor now. See how I got a stands in there about heaven. <laughs> Snuck it into the guise of Psalm 17. Uh, let's turn to Psalm 90. I'm oh, sorry, number 98. Number 98. Yeah, yeah. Which is Psalm 51. Yes. 98. Yeah, I picked this tune out before 2020. <clears throat> Actually, I do. Well, anyway, there's some stories behind this, but no matter. We already lined this out. Do you guys know it? Raise your hands if we just want to sing. We don't need to line it out. I saw one hand. Let me line it out just to be on the safe side. Be merciful to me, O God. Be merciful to me, O God, according to your love, according to your love. With water blot out all my sins, with water blot out all my sins, and cleanse me from above. Uh, the next 
next to last note on the first line, which is going to be easy to sing wrong. So it's um, according to thy love. But we want to sing according to your love. No, no, no. The bass got that note. Here we get the melody goes way down. According to your love. See where I'm at? So let's sing this again. Stands this one, two, three. And I like to sing about his up four. Be merciful to me, O God, according to your love. With God, the God of all my sins, and plans be from above. For I must daily face my sins, day by day, for your sight. So you We can actually sing the first line softer than the second line. Not only is it lower, but look at the themes. It is actually appropriate to sing, In sin my mother gave me life, in darkness I was made. And then, my hidden parts you teach the truth, with wisdom then persuade. You can actually sing it louder. This guy, Christian Lehard, he really needs to write more lyrics. He's very good. Sing what stands the three. Someone requested 134. Thank you. I somehow overlooked that. I intended to sing it. 134. What a sweet spring song. Doesn't it just sound like a fresh breeze blowing in the windows? A happy, contented sound of a fresh spring breeze blowing through the windows. This is a song about old age. Lovely, lovely tune. No, no, no. I'll line it out. Why not? In you, O Lord, I put my trust in you. So let's sing the whole thing. One, uh, does anybody have any questions on which stanza to sing? Um, I had my way with sing them all. Yeah, sure. Um, okay, do, do we want to sing them all? We've got another 15 to do in the next hour and 10 minutes. Yeah, why not? Let's do them all. <laughs> um, what's our chord again? You, my rock, and for 
and sure save me by your decree. Deliver me from wicked and save me from an unjust. For you, Lord God, you are my hope. From you, you are my trust. You have upheld me in your grace from childhood's early days. To you, from whom I might receive, will I give thanks and praise. Though men all round in wonder gaze, who are my refuge strong. I sing about your glory all day long. Don't cast me off when I grow old, when my fear's almost gone. Do not forsake me when I'm weak, when all my strength is gone. My foes are strong and confident, they talk and make their plans. He is forsaken by his God, he'll fall into our hands. Do not be far from me, my God, we need to hear my call. The shame consumes. getting tired? Mine are. You have shown me troubles, great and harsh. You will bear me through. 181, which is, I think, already familiar, but I don't mind at this stage of the game introducing or singing some that we don't have to work so hard on. We can sing this a cappella unless you feel like you're ready to sing it. A cappella? You're good with it? Let's sing it then. Um, does Christchurch Twin Cities know 181? Oh, 181. 181. Number 181, not Psalm 181. There's it hasn't changed. Yes. It hasn't changed. Likely. Then yes. Okay, cool. Yay. Um, give us the opening note. Chord. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord, for wonders he has done, for wonders he has done. His right hand is all we are, wonderful the victory. Oh, yeah. 
Few tunes. 325, 325, from glory to glory advancing. This has got long lines, so when I line it out, I, I can't, you know, I've got to do 14 or 15 syllables at a time, and you guys did very well in picking it up because it is a bit tricky, but very well constructed tune, very well designed, um, totally instinctive from beginning to end. Can you give me the opening chord? I should line it out again because this is a, a bit unusual. From glory to glory advancing, we praise thee, O Lord. From glory to glory advancing, we praise thee, O Lord. Thine me with the Father and Spirit be ever adored. Thy name with the Father and Spirit be ever adored. From strength unto strength we go forward on Zion's highway. From strength unto strength we go forward on Zion's highway. To appear before God in the city. Of infinite, in, what is it? Infinite, 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 infinite day. Infinite day. To, to appear before God in the city of infinite. Is it infinite or infinite? Infinite. 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 I often say infinite. I can't tell what to say, what to say when I'm singing. Depends on if you're British. Both <laughs> Yeah, I think on the recording, um, I did actually find a recording of this. I think they say infinite. Mm -hmm. like British? It's probably because they're British, English. Yeah. Yeah. Or Canadian. Um, <laughs> you can sing whatever you want. Uh, you're not a choir. If you're a choir, I make you sing all the same. Uh, so from the top. How do you about that tempo? From glory to glory advancing. Like, 
Um, it's a little tricky to get. Ever fit thee, ever fit us for service, on earth for thy service on high. Yeah, there's four G's in there. Just thy service on high. Only this is is uh, an A there. Let's do that last time again. Uh, to appear before God. Mm. To appear before God. This is fantastic. I love it. Uh, 320, 336. Somebody asked for, <clears throat> we sort of do need to have parts for this. Um, so can I have a tenor volunteer to sing tenor? Can I have a bass volunteer to sing bass? Great. And I'll try to sing bass too if my voice <clears throat> holds out. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what you're doing. We can learn it. If you're an alto yeah. and you know what you're doing, come and join the alto as you don't. Are you an alto? Okay. Yeah. I pretend to be. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Yeah, because this is part of your song. So. You then you should be behind us. Yeah, sing it right here. <laughs> and if you're going to sing it in A flat, gosh, you really do need to sing it in parts because it, it's, it's pretty hot. Can we focus the next thing? You guys turn, all, all the authors turn to face each other? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, this is not small. Can you give us our starting now? You want to play this? Okay. It's going to be like so. Oh, hail the power. Sure, it's so one, right? One, two. Oh, hail the power. else can sing bass, sing louder than me, please. Do you sing bass, Kyle? I do. Will you come and help us sing this, please, please, please? Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jeremiah would be a better candidate. Okay. Or if you're, you're a, if you're a tenor, switch with him. Okay. I can sing bass. Okay. Sure. Oh, can you sing bass? <laughs> yeah. Hey, He's just tenor to help me. Uh, I'll be a tenor to help you. <laughs> All right. What's your See name? you later, bro. He's out. Good to meet you, Tyler. Let's sing stanza five and six. So leave at 4.30, but I think I do, so. 3.38. Oh, I'm glad somebody picked this one. 3.38. This is very interesting. In the third line, you see this. What's the key again? It's so clever, the way the, the, way the tune and the harmony is written here. So the third line, you got this, Lord, thy, is the theme. So first the sopranos get it, da, da, and then the basses get it, da, da, and then the tenors get it, da, da, and then the sopranos get it, get it, da, da, and then everybody sings it. Earth is really, really very clever. 
Notice, by the way, tenors and basses, if you just do decide to sing the parts on this, you're switched in measure 10. You see how the bass, the bass uh, 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 notes are higher than, than they have the stems going down? You guys know what that means. Cool. But, but we'll just play it. Can you play this one or can you go acapella? Sweet. I'll line it out. Round the Lord in glory seated. Sing it. Round, Round the Lord in glory seated. Cherubim and seraphim. Cherubim and seraphim. Filled his temple and repeated. Filled his temple and repeated. Each to each the alternate hymn. Each to each the alternate hymn. Lord, thy glory fills the heavens. Lord, thy glory fills the heavens. Earth is with thy fullness, Lord. Earth is with thy fullness, Lord. Unto thee be glory given. Unto thee be glory given. sing is to go when they finish the song they go back to the halfway point or every and sing the last half and then they'll go back to the middle point and sing the last half again they like to sing the last half over and over again so you can imagine how many times i've gotten to sing the last half of this song and they always sing it in welsh so it's song tide song tide song tide the for the last um for the last phrase well, let's sing the whole thing through we have the time oh we still have time uh let's sing one three and four uh all the parts together you can sing parts if you want one, two, three, four. Somebody asked for that one. Oh, this is my tune. Oh, cool. I'm using my Let's see here. How should I teach this? I've never taught this one before. You could probably sit down for this one. This is not an energetic song. I'll 
try doing half the line, see how that works. Kindle, you all have it? Three fifty nine. Yes. Yep. One. Kindle, Savior, in my heart. Kindle, Savior, in my heart. A flame of love divine. A flame of love divine. Here for mine, I trust thou art. What happens when I try to pray? I don't end up doing much praying. But then suddenly, God shows his power. <sighs> Somebody asked for gently lead us. Okay. It's a 404. Yes, thank you. It sounded delightful. <laughs> At least I heard it. That, that's better than not hearing it. Um, you know, this one is usually sung. This is going to sound really unusual. 404, Ron. 404. Um, well, first of all, it's a very popular tune. It's been put with lots and lots of different words. Um, this is my vote because I think um, it's, it's solemn and thoughtful, but at the same time, it's not sad and gloomy because it's in the major key. Very thoughtful, actually. So thoughtful that I can't make it through a single line. Um, without breaking into tears. But it's usually sung with just the men singing melody 
for an entire stanza. And then everybody sings that stanza again in all four parts. So it ends up being six stanzas, twice for each stanza. So I'm just going to try this. Can all the guys sing stanza one, the melody? That's stanza one, the units, so just the guys. Uh, what's my opening note? Oh, yeah, 404 and E flat. So just the guys sing melody, stanza one. Are you okay with that? Sight reading? It could be a little bit of sight reading. It's just the guys. Ready? Gently, Lord, oh, gently lead us Well, that's because I'm singing in, in woman's range. I'm singing a falsetto, falsetto. I'm singing the note you would sing. Aww. Yeah, that's the note you'd sing. Are you singing alto? Yeah. Let's everybody do the alto. All the altos do the alto, I mean, including me. Um, stanza one. Gently, Lord. Ready? Gently, Lord, oh, gently lead us Anybody, the soprano want to know their part? Oh, I can sing that one too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, it doesn't go that high. What should I sing? The soprano. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can sing bass. I'm just, I'm struggling on it. I don't even know what I am. I would love to sing the bass for you, but I don't have a low voice at four in the afternoon after, <laughs> after I've been talking for six hours. Um, can you play the bass line really loud? Mm. Oh, cool. Sopranos? Let's go. 
Do we want? I think I'm new. Can you sing? My, my mom, you sing soprano? My mom is a yeah. soprano. Yeah. They keep telling you that. Uh, no, no. Can no. <laughs> you? You can sing way higher than I can. No doubt. No. Yeah, you should go back by the way. can hum except for the tenor singing melody. That would be pretty cool. Turn y'all into the choir. We have a good choir leader. Thank you. Um, all three stanzas with the piano are straight through. Three. Oh, yeah, that's the easy one. Sure, yeah, let's do this one. This is fun. Yeah, I think it's really high. People can sing part. Let's hear them. Wait, where are we? 411. I know this one. Yeah, this is one of the bass parts that has, what, three notes? Well, no. to, well the, the, the refrain has more than that. Um, One that uh, it's tempting to let it get away from you, yeah, because that's what we want to sing when I'll be belting it through. Yeah, um, I don't know though. Look at these words when darkness seems to veil his face, I rest on his unchanging grace. And every these are thoughtful words. I, I mean, the, the, the first stanza I can see that, and certainly the refrain wants to be kind of snappy, but they're super most helpful. Of them are really, really thoughtful songs. You really do want me to? Uh, oh, you can't hear me. Oh, I beg your pardon. Sorry, Morgan. I'm just rambling anyway. Let's sing this thing. Uh, uh, 411. My hope is built on nothing less. So that's about the tempo, but of course, a lot louder than that, please. <laughs> My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' love. Sweetest frame, but holy lean on Jesus. 
sinking sand um, a little quieter like it's a reflection on what you just said even though it's the same words the music uh, is sort of like a reflection of what you just saying so you might as well sing it just a little bit quieter as if you're reflecting on it Somebody asked for it. Oh, fun, 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 fun. It's an old British spelling, I think. <laughs> well, they are both proper spellings, but within the same printing, they all have the same sure. as well. And um, not only that, but take a note that uh, stanza two, when darkness seems to veil his face, that is one way it is sometimes presented, but look across the page, the words are different. When, when darkness, darkness veils his lovely face, face. it face. appears both ways. Is the bride here, so we fast and pray. You guys want me to line this one out again? Yes. This is kind of complicated. Is that a yes? Yes. Wait, where are we at? 413. Oh, 413. I thought, I thought we were at come back now. So let's sing 413. Sorry, I've got too many kites, kites up in the air. I'm too many kite strings. Can't remember all the things I'm supposed to do. So I'll line it out and y'all can sing it with the piano. Gone is the bridegroom, so we fast and pray. Gone is the bridegroom, so we fast and pray. And ask our God to hasten that great day. And ask our God to hasten that great day. Christ comes down to meet us in the air. When Christ comes down to meet us in the air, with trumpet sound, oh, we shall see him there. With trumpet sound, oh, we shall see shall bring the saints who've gone before, and we shall bring the saints who've gone before, so then we wait, the Lord is at the door, so are singing the right words and i appreciate that <laughs> i'm not paying attention i'm sorry let's do the whole thing from top to bottom can you give us the first chord again 
Oh, I don't think so. There you go. Two, three, four. Go on. I actually pronounce it different than most Pennsylvanians. You know? well, water, like to rhyme with shutter. Rudder, water. Yeah, water. Is he's on my vision the Holy Spirit we this that's been continuing since I'm in the church? No, there's older ones. Well, it's like six forty or something like that. Um, it's hard to know how old some of the tunes are because they weren't collected until the 1500s, but at that point they had been sung for a long time. It could have been centuries. The words, though, I think the oldest words we have go back to Clement of Alexandria in like 212 or something. So they're translated, obviously. Um, we're not yeah. singing in Greek. Still cool. Yeah. Yeah, there's some really old stuff in here, and we are uh, greatly indebted to a lot of brilliant poets. It's not, I meant to say this. Um, most of the translations of old German, old Latin, old Greek from you know the 200s up through the 1600s come from... One particular group of people in Britain in the 1840s. Um, it was called the Oxford Movement, and it was John Mason Neal, Arthur Tozer Russell, and 
Catherine Winkworth. Catherine Winkworth was the genius of them all. We have lots and lots and lots and lots of Catherine Winkworth. She was amazing. I don't know if she wrote any of her own hymns, but she made amazing translations. Hundreds and hundreds of them. Most, many of them are still with us today. What were you going to say? Arthur Tozer Russell. Tozer. Is that A.W.? No. Yeah, Tozer was his middle name. We can just call him Russell, Arthur Russell. Arthur Tozer Russell is not an easy name to say. So this is sort of how it goes. Come, come, we saints, no toil nor labor fear, but with joy when you wear. Journey may appear, grace shall, grace shall be as your day. We have a living Lord to God, and we can trust Him to provide. Through this and joy, your hearts will swell. All is well, all is well. Has anyone ever heard that before? Raise your hand. Someone's heard it before. Where'd you hear it? I don't know. Don't remember? Um, one of the fun things to do with this tune, I don't know if this is really practical in a con congregation, but I think it might be, is you start out slow, and then you get faster, and then you get slower again. So it's like this. Come, come, ye saints, no toil nor labor fear, but with joy when you work. So it's like a question and then an answer. Though hard to you, the journey may appear. Grace shall be as your day. And then you just throw out all the winds. We have a living Lord to God, and we can trust him to provide. And they sort of come to a pause and provide. To provide. And then the last line is the same as the first one. Do this and joy, your hearts will swell. And I like to sing that um, high note on a, on a long um, Long and loud. Do this and joy, your hearts will swell. All is well, all is well. Yeah, I've sung this to put my kids to sleep enough times. <clears throat> or to put myself to sleep when they're crying. Um, <laughs> but let's sing all four stanzas. Shall I line it out? I think I will, because the rhythm's a little bit tricky. Come, come, ye saints, no toil nor labor fear. Sing it. Come, come, ye saints, no toil nor labor fear. But with joy when you wait. Sing it. But with joy when you wait. Second line is the same. Though hard to you, the journey may appear. Sing it. Though hard to you, the journey may appear. Grace shall be as your day. Grace shall be as your day. The next one is, we have a living Lord to guide, and we can trust him to provide. Sing it. We have a living word to God, and we can trust him to provide. Do this and joy, your hearts will swell. Do this and joy, your hearts will swell. All is well, all is well. Can we try all four stanzas? Come, come, ye saints, no toil or labor fear, but your soul and your way. Though hard to you, the journey may appear, grace shall be as your day. We have a living Lord to guide, and we can trust him to provide. This and joy, your hearts will swell. All is well, all is well. The world of care is with us every day. Let it not be obscure. Here we 
we can serve the Master on the way, and in Him be secure. Good of your Lord, stretch for each day, our God will never us forsake. And so our song of you can play, all is well. Why should we mourn or speak our lot is hard? Tis the soul, all is right. Why should we think to earn a great reward if we now shun the fight? Tis better far for us to strive, our useless cares from us to drive. And so we'll have this tale to tell. Let's try it again. And so we'll have this tale to tell. All is well. It's not so much a fermata. We're not going to hold it out forever and ever and ever. Well, it's just a little bit longer, so you can sort of milk it for it for its um for what's the climax? The climax of the song, and then the, the the last two little phrases there have more impact in comparison. Verse four. We'll find the rest which God for us prepared when at last He will fall. Shall come to hurt or make us free, he will reign over all. We will make the air with music ring, shall praises to our glory and king. Oh, how we'll make the chorus swell. All is well. Oh, that was his presence. Uh, 429. 429. This is the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Do you remember this one? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Brother of Lucifer. There you go. What about this one? I've seen a lot of our brothers. This has got the easiest bass line. I think two notes. You got to work on it. The warm-up the warm-up the warm-up the warm-up the warm-up the warm-up it warm-up the warm-up the warm-up the warm-up the warm-up the warm-up the warm-up yeah, so you might want to stand up. You don't have to, because I know it's getting late in the day. Uh, but after all, I've been standing up all day, so you should be able to. Do you sit here standing up? I'm standing up. Oh, you can sit. I'm going to put my diaphragm. I'm not going to make it. I know, right? That's kind of high. I'm going to say something. All right, I'll line it up for you. That's your story? Yeah. Um, and you're standing up. 429. That's your story. Oh, thou in whose presence my soul takes delight, O oh, Thou in whose presence my soul takes delight, O oh, whom in affliction I call, O oh, whom in affliction I call, my comfort by day and my song in the night, my comfort by day and my song in the night, my hope, my salvation, my all, my hope, my salvation, my all. Where dost thou, dear shepherd, resort with thy sheep? Where dost thou, dear shepherd, To feed them in pastures of love. 
to feed them in pastures of love. Save why in the valley of death should I weep? Save why in the valley of death should I weep? Alone in the wilderness road. Oh, Second line and fourth line are identical. I'm not sure the harmony is. Actually, the harmony is. Uh, melody and harmony is identical. So once you've learned lines one and three, you know the whole song. Well, let's sing it through. Probably not all the stanzas for the sake of time. So we only have 10 minutes. Um, one, two, and four. Why not? Mm -hmm. Oh, thou in whose presence my soul takes delight, on whom in affliction I call, I comfort my day and my song in the night, thy hope, my salvation, thy all. To feed them in pastures of love. Say why in the valley of death should I weep alone in the wilderness road? Something I want to do here. The end of the second, uh, the, the, end, the end of each line, it's a little awkward to jump right into the next one. I think what I want to do is. On whom in affliction I call. My, just room for a whole breath in there. Again, we're not going to hold it out like call, but just hold it, hold it long enough to take a breath before you start the next one. Does that make sense? Yeah. Did you hear what I said? I wasn't talking to the mic. No. <laughs> at the end of the eights, at, at the end of each of the, of the eights, well, the end of the, each of the first two eights, the last one's a dotted quarter, so it doesn't matter, or dotted half. Um, stanzas two and four. Oh, why should I wander and alien from thee, O try in the desert for bread? Thy foes will rejoice when my sorrows they see and smile. The tears I have shed, ye daughters of Zion, declare, have ye seen the star that on Israel shone? Say, if in your tents my beloved has been away with his thoughts, he is gone. Stands of four. But when armed with vengeance in terror becomes the nation's rebellions to tame, the reins of omnipotent power he assumes and rides in a chariot of flame. The thousand disruptions that wait for his word and ride on the wings of his breath. Fly swift as the winds at the nod of their Lord and deal out his arrows of death. Oh, boy. Yeah. Four more here, and we only have five minutes. How, uh, Justin, how firm is there at 4.30 departure time? Should we really be out in five minutes? Yes, absolutely, without question. We have a little bit of question. Let's sing one stanza of 4.34, 4.34. We can probably sing this acapella. Happy day. Uh, 434. 
Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washing his blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Uh, let's just do two more, 524 and 527, and then we'll be finished. 524, 524. Yeah, yeah, this is the one that will never get sung if we won't sing it here. <clears throat> is it 534 or 524? 524, 524. Sorry. Speak up into the microphone, Michael. Speak into the mic, Mike. Mm. Can you give me a D? That's it. Two, three, four. Trumpet of God sound. Power. All right, let's all sing it. All sing all three stanza. Two, three, four. Trumpet of God sound. of like fire who is the world's desire with whom who who comes who descends with the force of the lord oh the holy spirit that's right this is a hymn to the holy spirit this could be in the pentecost section and look what the holy spirit does he he burns the earth the earth is burning with his desire with his love love of the world's desire let's say love of the spirit burns the earth up so you sing that you think earth is burning to itself this is a song about the end of the world no this is a song about the beginning of the world this is a song about the beginning of the reign of the spirit because earth is burning with the love of the world's desire the love of the spirit 527 this will be the last one and look at that it is 4 30 unless someone wants to stop the clock <laughs> i wasn't paying attention is that a civil war song what's that is it a civil war era song no, no, this is no, Edwardian. No, no. This okay. is from I'm just the, wondering. There's Eastern Western, too. Yeah, I'm not sure. Otherwise, every compass has all those. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, there's been a number of times in history, in Spain and in Russia, when um, the South was at war with the North. Right. America isn't the only time it happens. It's actually peculiar how often that well, happens. Well, I have a very Americentric view of my Christianity, unfortunately. Well, so I do I. I'm working on it. I have an Americentric view of all of history. But it is, it is rather startling sometimes to realize, not only do North fight with South a lot, yeah. but they're often the same issues. The North is liberal and the South is conservative. Go figure. I have no idea why. Uh, what would I just say? 527. Uh -huh. Give me an E. We're going to sing this in acapella. 
That's right. That's an E. When the enemy comes in a roaring like a flood. Sing it. When the enemy comes in a roaring like a flood. Coveting the kingdom and hungering for blood. Coveting the kingdom and the hungering for blood. The Lord will raise a standard up and lead his people on. The Lord will raise a standard up and lead his people on. Host will go before defeating every foe. The Lord of hosts will go before defeating every foe. Defeating every foe. Defeating every foe. For the Lord is our defense. Yea, to defend us. For the Lord is our defense. Yea, to defend us. For the Lord is our defense. Yea, to defend. For the Lord is our defense. Yea, to defend. Tell you what, can you play the uh the guitar chords, just as chords, not the tune. So just the E5, E5 D5, and so on. And we're going to sing the whole thing. Uh, you can play with both hands, play them as loud as you want. You will not join us out, I promise you. Mm, you should better not. Y'all better sing this loud enough. Take a deep breath. When the enemy comes in a roar like a flood, they're coveting the kingdom and a hungering for blood. The Lord will raise the standard up and lead his people on. The Lord of hosts will go before defeating every foe, defeating every foe. For the Lord is our defense, yea, to defend us. For the Lord is our defense, yea, to defend us. Some may trust in chariots, and some trust in the horse. But we will depend upon the name of Christ our Lord. The Lord has made my hands to war, and my fingers to fight. The Lord makes all our enemies, and raises us upright. He raises us upright. For the Lord is our defense, yea, to defend us. For the Lord is our defense, yea, to defend us. Before we go on the next one. I'm sorry, I didn't give you a chance to practice this. Can you actually play a chord um, on every uh, one and four? On every one and four, every one, first and fourth beat. Yeah, dun, dun. So it's uh, two, two per measure. Yeah. That's right. Boom, 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 boom. Ready? Thousands fall in front of him, ten thousand to the right. But he will defend us from the arrow in the night. Protect us from the terrors of the teeth of the devourer. Imbue us with your spirit, Lord. Encompass us with power. Encompass us with power. For the Lord is our defense. Yea, to defend us. For the Lord is our defense. Yea, to defend I think we need to sing that one again. From top to bottom. Eh? <laughs> well, I mean, not everybody knew it the first time through. So let's sing it as if we know it, because now we do. That's right. When the enemy comes in, pretend like you're a vedran. Can we have a guitar? Two or three guitars would work well on this one. One, two, three, four. When the enemy comes in, roaring like a flood, coveting the king and hungering for blood. The Lord will raise a standard up and lead his people on. The Lord of hosts will go before defeating every foe, defeating every foe. For the Lord is our defense, yea, to defend us. For the Lord is our defense, yea, to defend. Some may trust in chariots and some trust in the horse, but we will now depend upon the name of Christ our Lord. The Lord has made my hands to war and my fingers to fight. The Lord is now our enemies and raises us upright. He raises us upright. For the Lord is our defense, yea, to defend us. For the Lord is our defense, yea, to defend. The thousands fall and fall and ten thousands to the right. But he will defend us from the arrow in the night. Protect us from the terrors of the tip of happy hour. And do us with your spirit, Lord, encompass us with power. Encompass us with power. For the Lord is our defense, yea, to defend us. For the Lord is our defense, yea, to defend us. For the Lord is our defense, yea, to defend us.
is our defense. Yea, to defend us. For the Lord is our defense. Yea, to defend. Woo. Amen. Thank Amen. Thank you. Now the day is over. Oh, we're going to sing one more before the end. Oh, there's a, uh, that's right. There's an a, a ending song. Turn to 699. We'll absolutely finish with this one. This is an evening song. 699. Oh, I thought we were just going to end with the back alley. We were going to end with that one, but I forgot. I was an evening song to end with. 699. 699. The day thou gave us, Lord, is ended. Sing it. The day thou gave us, Lord, is Ended the darkness falls at thy behest. The darkness falls at thy behest. To thee our morning hymns ascended. To thee our morning hymns ascended. Shall hallowed now our rest. Thy grace shall hallowed now our rest. Verses one and five. <laughs> the day thou gavest, Lord, is ended. The darkness falls at thy So we in Lord, thy throne shall never thy curse proud empires pass away, but stand and grow and grow forever till all thy creatures own thy sway. Oh, yeah, sure. Praise, ready? Praise, Praise 